Hey guys, Nutty Buckeye here. It's been a while, but I just wanted to stop and uh, talk a little bit about a uh, action figure series that uh, I heard a little bit about. I've, I've mentioned it a couple times on on the, the channel here, I think, but I, I was introduced to it when I was watching uh, The Foosh, and I caught Robo talking about it. He received a like some kind of a special medallion that was a decoder medallion really unique in, in intricate looking like almost Cthulhu-esque kind of uh, squid headed um, design to it or D&D &D, if you took that in mind it would be like an ithylid or ethylid uh, kind of a design to it and uh, it was a decoder and you could actually when he got it it actually had a message that he needed to decode and it was for an action figure line called Savage Crucible. And Savage Crucible was doing this kind of like a viral ad promotion to announce their entrance into the action figure world where they would send out based on however many people, however many people ordered certain things from uh, my action figure, um, Collective, I think it was called, or my action figure, uh, custom, my action figure custom, I think it is. Dot com. If you ordered more items, you got something different. If you ordered less items, you got something different. But they were all either coins or this decoder medallion. And I think it was the higher you got, the, the you got medallion maybe. But all of them were just beautiful, intricate coins and medallions. And um, it was, I guess it was very hard for some people to get the entire series that were really trying to collect them. And, uh, but that's neither here nor there. It all basically was like a viral ad, ad system to announce that, hey, we're getting into this action figure line. And they really did a big announcement at Toylanta when they had that big convention, I want to say maybe a month and a half, two months ago at the start of summer, start of spring really, to really kick off this year's action figure convention series. And uh, they had, I wanna say, a few of their demos there, and they had a bunch of their images and artwork there, and they had some of the, the info from their website. And you could find out a little bit about it, and it's uh, savagecrucible.com, and a and apparently they're going to do graphic novels and they're going to start, they're going to launch this action figure line via a Kickstarter. And it looks amazing. The few images they've shown of the live videos of, of the posability and the custom, customability of the action figures looks absolutely amazing. I mean, the posability of some of them and the, the different, like, bending and like posing you can put them in is absolutely amazing it's it's just crazy when I compare that to what, I, what I've seen at least online from the videos compared to what I've done with my own figures it's amazing mind you I mean it's their, their demos so they're not full production quality so it could be just that it's just amazing right now and we'll see when we get them in hand but from what I've seen it looks very impressive and it looks to be in the line like fantasy series, where it's going to be uh, all like that status, like Lord of the Rings, Dungeons and Dragons, um, kind of like Mythic Legions kind of line like that. But um, they did say like anybody in any IP, I guess, kind of a thing can get sucked into this Savage Crucible. So I guess who really knows? And... Uh, not much is truly known about the story yet. We're gonna to have to wait and find out more. But um, the one reason I'm talking about this today is I entered one of their drawings last week they had. It was uh, done on all their different social media networks. We can only enter one. You can enter either on Instagram, Facebook. Um, I forget some of the other ones they had them on, but they had a contest through, throughout all of them. And you can only enter on one different page. You couldn't enter on all of them. And if, if you did, they'd just only accept one of them. And uh, 
they would uh, announce the winner on last Friday. And I entered last Monday and kind of thought nothing of it. I kind of just ignored it, thinking that was my internet luck and I wouldn't hear anything. And then come Sunday morning, my daughter on Father's Day says, Hey, Dad, did you see what I put on Instagram for you? And I went and I saw I had a bunch of messages on there and uh, I had something from my brother-in-law. I had uh, one on there from my daughter and then I saw I had another one from... Uh, by the way, my daughter's was very cute, just in case she's listening. It was a very nice Father's Day message, and it was very well done. But uh, then I had another one from Savage Crucible, and I was like, oh, I wonder what their message would be, be for. And I didn't even for once think at all anything about the contest. And when I opened it and announced that I was the winner of their Instagram drawing, and I, my mind just like melted. I was like, are you kidding me? I freaked out. I felt so bad that I didn't check it on Friday. Because like I got home from work, uh, watched the newest episode of The Boys, and kind of just zoned out, and I was blown away. But I won, and I, I responded like a couple times to them, and posted on my different channels how awesome it was. I was really thankful. Then my wife said, "Yeah, well, you never really won anything until you receive it." And I thought, "Well, that's true. I guess we'll see what happens." And then, like later that night, they said, uh, "Where would you like it sent?" and Who's it going to? So I told him my name and where I wanted it to go. And then uh, just th earlier today, I had a knock on the door and it was the postal service to have me sign. And I got a package today and I was blown away to receive this by the Savage Crucible. So I figured I'm gonna wait and open it with you guys here watching. I had to come out and I'm picking up my daughter at soccer practice and I'm, I figured I'd be a little bored waiting. So I grabbed it when I left and I wanted to open it here in front of you guys and kind of check it out. So um, I guess without further delay, I'm gonna bust this bad boy open and we'll see what's inside. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here we are opening the box from Savage Crucible. And as you can see, it's got Savage Crucible written on the box directly. And it is sent from My Action Figure Customs, like I was saying. So let's not keep you waiting any longer and let's just get right into this bad boy and see what they sent me. Alright, so initially it's a big old bag of bubble wrap. We will take the box and put that in the back seat for now. Oh, okay, it rolls open real quick. And it is a inside the bubble wrap. We've got a black, kind of like a little velvet dice bag almost. Not really velvet, but that kind of material. For those of you that have played Dungeons and Dragons, it's like where you've used a dice bag. It's like one of those little chess X kind of a dice bag. All right. Okay. Um, inside are more dice bags. And from the light outside, it appears that that is empty. That's everything. And it feels as if that's empty with my one hand. And in the first little brown bag, I have got a pretty sweet looking little dwarven coin that appears to be like an a goldish color. Let the sunlight catch it. And on the back of it, it shows like Dwarven Gate. Don't know which ways. I'm assuming that's up, but I guess it could be 
looking the other way like it's coming down. But that is one of the coins. The next little brown bag. Okay, that's a uh, silver dwarven coin, and that is just, that's really sharp. That's awesome looking. Dwarven profile and, and some dwarven swords. Look at the center. It's got a piece in the middle open, like a, my, my father's collected some coins back in the in the day and some of his real old ancient coins are like that. I don't know if it's for you to carry on a string or a rope for you to carry around with you so you don't lose it. I don't know. Oh, here's another one of the same kind, but in like a, in a bronze finish. That's beautiful. Wow. I wonder if are the runes exactly the same on the two. Yeah, the runes are exactly the same on the two. One's just bronze and one's silver. But that's sweet how they sent them in different little baggies so they wouldn't get dinged up or anything. Okay. And then we've got a... Let me try to do this with one hand so it doesn't look so weird. Okay, and then I've got a silver one, again, of that dwarven... of that gold one, of the dwarven head. back again, whichever way is up or down. And then let's try again, do this one-handed. Not trying to rush or anything, it's just, uh, I know my daughter's coming and she'll be like, what are you doing? Alright, check that out, the golden one of the Dwarven Profile. That is just gorgeous. Makes me want to talk in my dwarven voice. Aye, it does. Check that out. That is too cool. Awesome. I can't thank Savage Crucible enough for doing this drawing. And I mean, heck, I was lucky to win. But that's just awesome. They pulled my name because I am thrilled to be able to talk about them and to promote this this action figure company for them. Anything that I could do to my part to try and help grow interest in it and interest in their Kickstarter campaign when they decide to start it. Because that's how they say they're going to start the campaign to grow their action figure company is through a Kickstarter launch. And they're all keeping us in suspense, so hopefully we'll find out soon. Maybe they'll announce more info at um, PowerCon coming up here in Columbus, Ohio, which is scheduled for the end of, actually it's the beginning of August. Whoa, baby, look at this beast. Lux in Tenebris Lucet. Look at that thing. It's like a squid skull with horns. What a monstrous beast. And that is the Decoder Medallion. Look at that bad boy. Wow. Holy cow. So, there you have it, everybody. That is what I wanted to brag about and talk about what I lucked out winning via Instagram and Savage Crucible. And again, it's savagecrucible.com. They're going to be a new action figure toy line. It's going to supposed to be in like the seven, six and a half, seven inch figure toy, that, 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 that setting, that, that, that six and a half, seven inch line. And mainly, from what I understand, it's fantasy. It's going to be its own setting, its own genre, mainly fantasy. But they did say 
any anything can technically get pulled in from what I've gathered so far. But again, I don't know anything more than what I've heard and the gathered from what I've picked up on different sources online. And I've been trying to pick up as much as I can. The fact that I was lucky enough to win the entire coin collection, I am super stoked and completely blown away. So I want to give a mad shout out and again, massive thanks to SavageCrucible.com, to the My Action Figure Customs Group, all those guys. And um, I can't think of the guy's full name. I just know the owner and the, the head of it that's really going to be behind the Savage Crucible line is Rob. So I really want to thank him as well and these guys for doing such a really cool viral marketing campaign. I mean, these coins and this medallion are incredible. If you guys out there, if anybody out there has gotten one, you just you know, and it's congrats to you guys for getting one. It's fantastic. And I also want to say a massive thank you to Robo from the Fwoosh for uh, turning me on to such a great, interesting line, such as Savage Crucible, to get started and get looking into. Because I'm going to be all in when this toy line drops on its Kickstarter. I'm planning on putting aside pretty much most all, everything else for this line. But um, if you can, make it to PowerCon when they're here. They're going to be here in August, the um, first weekend in August. It's, uh, uh, I can't remember the exact dates, but it's the first weekend in August here in Columbus, Ohio. They're doing PowerCon, and uh, that, that should be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, I mainly wanted to show off my coins. And uh, I'm going to pack these all up, get them sorted back away before my daughter gets back in the car, and then uh, I'll get back here to wrap up this video. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Just one second. <sighs> all right, guys. Well, that, that about does it for this video. I uh, mainly wanted to show off that awesome uh, win for me. I, I'm not trying to like show it off or brag. I just really wanted to let you guys see how cool it was that something could be given out to people. There was another winner I know about from Facebook and I'm assuming each one of their other um, social media networks they did for another winner but again I don't know but I thought it was so cool that was the way they shared with their uh, their followers and um, it's a great way to continue their viral marketing and their ad campaign to get the word out on their uh, new toy line. I mean, even though these aren't toys, it's still just, it's got to be an expensive way, but such a cool and unique way to say, check this out, look into this. I mean, like coins and currency for their toy line, you know, like imaginary, like imagine like a, one of the dwarves from their, their, their realm spending those coins to purchase stuff or one of the evil or I don't know if they're evil, they could be the good guys, who knows. One of the, uh, I think they're not Lemurians, those are the uh, lizard guys, but the, the squid guys, one of those guys using the decoder or whatever they want to call it in their realm to do something or to cast a spell or something, how cool could that be? Just the way you could just imagine or role play however you want to do it. But just, I, I'm really just wanting to show those off and to say, how cool is this that a company did this? Not to say, hey, look at me, uh, I won this. But I just wanted to, to brag about the company, to say how cool of a, a marketing style that Savage Crucible did. That's really unique. And uh, for those of you that are into action figures, I really encourage you to check out um, SavageCrucible.com um, to look into more about this universe, this theme that they're creating for their, for their genre. And uh, check them out through my action figure customs, whatever they've got. This seems to be a really cool thing to get into. I know, again, I'm going to probably go into it all in, drop a lot of my stuff to follow them completely. Um, and just a massive shout out to them, those guys at Savage Crucible, for doing these contests. And I'm so thrilled to have won. I'm really going to do everything I can to, to advertise this, keep them in my showcase and a place of pride to do everything I can to show them off to people to let them see and when they ask oh what's this point them out and try to spread the word even more um, 
I just really appreciate the opportunity to, I guess, be a spokesman for them. And then uh, again, it's nothing that they're making me do or asking me to do. It's just the fact that I won them all. I've got the whole set. I feel it's something that I need to do. So uh, thank you again, Savage Crucible and My Action Figure Customs and Rob for that opportunity. And uh, everybody uh, that's watching the channel, I do wish you guys would give them a shout. Check out uh, SavageCrucible.com. Um, and again, for those of you that are facing a dark time in your life, like always, like I say, just uh, try not to give in to the darkness. Turn to the light. There are people out there that you can turn to. If you can't talk to somebody face-to-face, -face, just remember you can always find a, 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 a call center or somebody you can talk to online or you know, a chat center or a chat line. Heck, if you need to, worst-case scenario, message me on here. And I, if I get the time, I'll definitely be one to talk to you because I'm, I don't want to see anybody give into that darkness. I went through that for a very long time in my life, and that's not, not something somebody should go through. Uh, definitely not a point when you should be alone. So uh, don't give into the darkness. Focus on the light. And remember, there are things and people out there that do love you and care about you, and uh, focus on that. Those are the things you need to worry about and focus on in your life not the negativity. Remember, focus on the light, turn away from the dark. And again, massive shout out to Savage Crucible and to uh, Rob and My Action Figure Customs. It's really awesome. I, I think these coins are fantastic. The uh, decoder is amazing. And the way you guys shipped them to me in the the bags, the little like, like kind of like velvet felt little bags is awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, my seatbelt bag says my, my, my airbag is going to go off and blow me out of the seat. Maybe it's saying I'm an airbag and I've been talking too long. That's probably what it is. So I just want to sign off and tell you guys thanks again for everybody that's been following me. Thanks for tuning in, watching the, the video. Um, if, if this is your first time on the channel, if you haven't yet, I would really love to see you subscribe. I'm trying to grow my followers and uh, doing what I can to build up my, my channel following and my subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you don't mind, hit the notification so you know when I post a new video. And uh, if you don't mind, give the video a like if you like what I've been talking about and what I showed you with those coins. And if you haven't seen any of my older videos, please go back and give those a like as well. I've, I've pretty much focused on uh, action figures, Lego, um, things such as that. I plan on doing reviews on books and video games as well, but those will be coming. I've only done about 12 videos so far. This will be my 13th. And again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and uh, hit the notification button. Thanks again to Savage Crucible. Turn away from the darkness, focus on the light, and remember, Nutty Buckeye out. Peace.